All right, good morning traders. Today is May 20th, 2024. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody in the room, everybody out there in digital land, YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everybody. Thank you for being here. My SPY pivot this morning, 528.16, above it, I'm a bull, below it, I'm a bear. All of the Fab Five are in daily uptrends. Who are the Fab Five? SPY, Diamond Dow, DIA, QQQ, FNGU, and IWM, the Russell 2000. They're all in uh, daily uptrends, and they all made... Uh, on Friday, lower highs and lower lows closing. Uh, they made lower highs and lower lows, but they closed over the bullish trap and over the rising 17 EMA. All right, the SPY ends the day on Friday with two-hour uptrend still intact and a 10-minute uptrend also uh, just about closing up over the all-time high anchored VWAP that is very bullish. We'll take a peek at that later. Gold and silver still in uptrends. Both made higher highs and higher lows. Closing over the bullish trap. Over the rising 17 EMA. USO technically started a new uptrend. Made a higher high and a higher low. Closing over the bullish cross. And over the flat 17 EMA. UNG natural gas. Still in an uptrend, made a higher high and a higher low, closing over a bullish trap over the 17 EMA. U.S. dollar index, still in an uptrend, recently bounced up off of that flat 200 SMA, closed near 104.50 area. All right, let's go take a look at some charts. Good morning, Julie. All right. Let's take a peek at the charts. All right, here we are with SPY on the daily. Okay, you can see right here we got a higher low, excuse me, a lower low, and a lower high, but notice we closed over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. So that's uh, got higher lows down here. There's a lower, low, there's a low. This is a higher low, higher highs. All right, so that puts it in an uptrend. All right, on the two hour chart, you can see the three hasn't crossed underneath the, uh, the eight EMA, which is the gray one here. So you can see that two hour uptrend still intact. On the 10 minute chart, when we left off yesterday, we were in a 10 minute uptrend. You can see right there, a little grinding up a little bit further higher. All right, so we take, this is the all time high made on Thursday. We're going to take an anchored VWAP and stick it right up there on that doji candle. Okay, you can see we closed just over the anchored VWAP. That's bullish, all right? That's the all-time high anchored VWAP. That's very bullish. You can see right here SPY uh, kind of ratcheting up, melting up in the pre-market. All right, so that's very bullish right there. So what I'm looking for today is 10-minute uh, uptrends. Looking for green erases red. That's what I'm looking for. Green candle erases red candle. That's a great entry for me, all right, on the SPY. All right, let's back out. Let's go to some daily charts again. This time we're going to go to QQQ. All right, here's QQQ. Did the same thing, lower high, lower low, but closed over the bullish trap. Over the rising 17 EMA, QQQ making higher lows. Here's the low, made a higher low and higher highs. This is an uptrend right there. So there's QQQ. All right, let's take a look at FNGU. FNGU making higher lows and higher highs in an uptrend. Yesterday's price action, excuse me, Friday's price action. Lower high, lower low, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. That's bullish in an uptrend, still working. All right, so let's take a look at IWM. IWM, same thing, all right? Lower high, lower low, but closed over the bullish trap, 
over the 17 EMA. On the, on the trend, we've got a higher low and a higher high. So we have an uptrend. See, all of the Fab Five in uptrends. One more to go see, that's Diamond Dow. Diamond Dow, lower high, lower low, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA, okay? Making a higher low here. Here's the low. We make a higher low here. Making higher highs. Okay. Plus we're making a higher high than this. That's an uptrend. Okay. So all of the Fab Five in daily uptrends. All right. Let's take a peek at. Who do we want to look at? You know what? We should extend this. Because they may want to pull back to it. Just saying. That's a normal thing to get up on the other side and pull back and then J hook off of it. All right, so here's Diamond Dow. All right, let's go take a look at our technicals. Then we're going to go look at energy and precious metals. All right, so the technicals for Friday. All right, you can see we got kicked out of the overbought zone by the bears. All right, but we spent the day chopping around inside the buy zone. Very bullish. All right, we didn't even go down into the bull's chop zone down here. So this was very bullish. We got stuck in the buy zone all day. I'll take it. It's not bad. All right, still made a higher low than what we had here. Okay, still a higher low than what we had right here on the 13th. T2123 uh, from on Friday. Green from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, just to kind of a... Uh, a melting, uh, a little bit melting up there on the T2123. T2123 three bar chart. We put in three more green trendicator balls or 17 EMA balls right there. Okay, you can see still got some space between the price and the 17. And notice we got a lot of space opening up now between price and the 17 over the 200. A lot more space opening up. So here's the uh, the 200 SMA catch on the three bar chart. Okay, you can see price comes down. Spent a little bit more time than I expected down here. But all in all, uh, is moving back up closer to the prior all-time high. Notice it's about equal distance right now between uh, the rising 200 SMA and the alt prior and the all-time high right there this would be the prior all-time high very close to uh getting into that right now testing that prior all-time high and there's the all-time high just above it so we'll see what happens there this week fngu all right this would be friday's price action right over here the shaded area would be friday night and this would be monday morning all right, for FNGU on the 15-minute chart, what did we get? A little bit of a uh, little bit of a sell-off here. So on IWM, you look back here on the on the 15-minute T2123. This would be the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, in a hole, they they kind of melted up. But on the FNGU, this would be the big big boys. These are like the super mega caps. All right, you can see we had a little bit of a a melting down so just kind of a pullback that's still a nice bullish flag that's actually a healthy bull flag when it pulls back like that as long as it doesn't break the 50 50 percent line and it kind of stays in the upper third so we could measure that if you want to see what that looks like if i can find the quad lines that looks like them so we'll measure from the low to the high Okay, you can see they spent most of the time up in quadrant four. They came out of uh, the upper third, and then they recaptured it by the end of the day right there. You can see this would have been the uh, the, uh, the lower third right here, 349.59. So you can see they fell down, they spiked that area, and then uh, they recaptured and found closed in the upper third. That's very bullish. Okay, so that's FNGU. All right, let's go take a look at some energy sectors and the precious metals next. All right, so 
on FNGU. Uh, a whole lot of selling was going on. Not a whole lot, but, you know, just kind of a uh, healthy pullback here. You can see a red, green, red, and then they finished the day green back in the upper third, coming back to VWAP there. So you can see in the pre-market, very bullish up here. Okay, up over, uh, up over VWAP in the pre-market. All right, let's go take a look at, who do we want to see first? USO. USO just started a new uptrend, okay, because they broke this high right here. That's a higher high. Um, they still haven't made a, a higher low yet, but uh, that's a higher high right there. So USO started an uptrend, Friday's price action, higher low, higher high, closing over a bullish cross. And actually over the 17 EMA right there. So there's USO. UNG doing wonders, right? Uh, UNG, a lot of pent up energy. This is what happens when you get a consolidation breakout. You can see uh, we've got a, uh, a line coming right through here. There's the consolidation wedge right through here. And this is the kind of energy that happens you see the energy winding up. It's just like coiling up right inside this wedge. And then you get a breakout. It goes probably going to go this high. I would expect it to come back up to here. We'll see how high it wants to go. At least till 20. May even come all the way up to this area right here. 23.99. But UNG doing great. So yesterday's, excuse me, Friday's price action, higher low, higher high, closing over a bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. So UNG in an uptrend, USO just started an uptrend. Let's start with uh, SLV. Yesterday's price action, uh, I think that's a new three-year high. All right, right there, new three-year high on uh, yesterday's price action, higher low, higher high, closing over a bullish trap, over that hooking rising 17 EMA. That's in an uptrend, that's bullish, SLV. GLD kind of doing the same thing here, all right? So uh, that was a, okay, so that was an all-time high right there for GLD, all right? And we didn't we didn't break it on Friday, but if you look at the pre-market this morning, we just hit a new all-time high this morning on GLD. For Friday's price action, we got a higher low and a higher high closing over the bullish trap, over uh, looks like a hooking 17 EMA right there. All right, so that's uh. New all-time high for GLD made early this morning. Let's take a look at it on the monthly so you can see it. See, that's right up there. That's an all-time high. That's last month. That's this month. You look over to the left. There's nothing over here. So that was a new all-time high made this morning. All right, let's go take a look at... We'll take a look at a few, few, few of the uh, economic sectors, all right? First one we'll look at, and then we're going to go look at the economic calendar. All right, so we'll look at semiconductors. So semiconductors, same thing, lower high, lower low. Didn't close over the bullish trap. Closed inside the bullish trap, but over the rising 17 EMA right there. Okay, so there's SMH. All right, closed inside as opposed to over like the, uh, the, the Fab Five. All right, but still in an uptrend with a higher low and a higher high, okay? Closing inside the trap over the 17 EMA, still in an uptrend. Okay, let's take a look at XLK. All right, XLK doing the same thing, but closing over the trap over the 17 EMA, lower high, lower low. In an uptrend, we got a higher low here and a higher high there, all right? So that puts it in an uptrend. So SMH in an uptrend, XLK in an uptrend, all right? Let's take a look at XLF. 
All right, XLF, I think that was a brand new all-time high for Friday right there. Higher low, higher high. Closing over the bullish trap, over the 17 EMA. All right, got a higher low and a higher high. That's an uptrend. XLF in an uptrend, XLK in an uptrend, SMH in an uptrend. So that's our semiconductors, our technology, and our financials. These are sectors, all right? So all in an uptrend. Put this out on the monthly, and you can see, you look over to the left, that is an all-time high made on Friday, right there for XLF. That's be the financial sector. So nice work there. All right, next one we'll take a look at, IYT. All right, so here's our transports. I'm going to go back to the daily. So here's the transports. We've got... Something I've never seen here before. That looks like a peculiar pattern right there. Five green days, but most all of them up over the trap. But here is, uh, that's the 16th. This would be 17th. So this is Friday's price action right here. I'm just going to take a peek and see if that's really all, all that is included. Because I don't, I don't think I remember seeing all of that. So here's Friday. I'm going to just mark it off. Friday's price action would be right there. Would be the top. And we closed near the low. And this is going to be the bottom. Okay. Closed near the low. So now I want to go back and take a look at it like that. All right, so that was the top, and that was the bottom, and we closed near the low. All right, so IYT made a lower high and a lower low, closed underneath the bearish cross, all right, and under the flat 17 EMA. Okay, that's not so great. Uh, still in an uptrend. All right, by making higher lows and higher highs, not a very healthy uptrend, okay? Because we closed down here closer to 66.07, all right? So it's kind of like, looks like it's rolling over right there, all right? Uh, be nice to see this in a really nice uptrend. We can have a really nice robust rally all the way up to SPY 550, uh, not saying it still can't get done. It's just a little bit harder when you don't have the transports on your side. Transports are in an uptrend, not a very healthy uptrend. I mean, let's face it. This uptrend does not look like that uptrend, okay? This one is more like way down here, all right? So... You can see right there, IYT does not look like XLK or SPY or XLF even, okay? But uh, all in all, it's still in an uptrend. So they closed underneath the bearish cross. That's not a good sign. And underneath the 17 EMA, okay? But still in an uptrend. So there's IYT. All right, let's take a look at the economic calendar. <clears throat> We'll start off with, okay, for today, we've got a whole lot of Fed speakers. None of them are Mr. Powell. For tomorrow, more Fed speakers. None of them are Mr. Powell. No economic data coming out on Monday. No economic data coming out on Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be the main event. FOMC minutes at 2 o'clock. I don't even see a 2.30 presser. Is that coming or not? Usually after the minutes comes a 2.30 presser. Huh? Maybe that's coming after the announcement. That's the minutes. They're just going to release the minutes. All right, so that's the main event is the 2, 2 o'clock on Wednesday is the FOMC minutes. It's not an announcement. It's just the minutes. All right, so we're going to be able to listen in on what they were talking about. 
For Wednesday, existing home sales at 10, Atlanta Fed business inflation, expectations also at 10, quarterly services survey also at 10, and at 10.30, every Wednesday, we have a petroleum status report at 10.30. After that, FOMC minutes at 2 p.m. Thursday, jobless claims as normal, PMI composite flash 945, new home sales at 10 and 10.30 on every Thursday, a that gas report. All right, Kansas City Fed manufacturing index, not a market mover, but... They're going to release some uh, inflationary data, I guess, on uh, 11, 11 o'clock. Uh, another Fed speaker, nothing happened. Really light week. Uh, there's really nothing to stop the bulls. I don't see anything here to stop the bulls from getting to 550 if they want to get there. There's nothing going on uh, except for the dollar. The dollar is about the only thing that could probably stop them. And the FOMC minutes at 2, which uh, I really don't think they're going to say anything new. CPI was not that bad. And it wasn't, it was good, but it wasn't bad either. Okay, it wasn't bad enough for them to say, uh, it wasn't good enough to say uh, we're going we're gonna to do rate cuts earlier. And the fact that it wasn't bad was good. That's it. Durable goods. 8.30 on Friday, uh, consumer sentiment at 10, and a rig count at 1 p.m. That's it. That's it right there for uh, next week. All right, let's take a look at the earnings calendar because we do have some headliners coming in there. Palo Alto is going to report uh, tonight, uh, $102 billion right there. So they're going to report... Uh, and that's about it right there. Okay, on Tuesday, Lowe's is going to report tomorrow morning. Uh, AutoZone is going to report tomorrow morning. And that's about it for the big boys. Uh, is tomorrow morning is Lowe's and AutoZone in the morning. Wednesday, NVIDIA is going to report after the FOMC minutes at 2 p.m. NVIDIA is going to report at, after 4 in the evening. All right, so there, this is a market mover right here. Two, almost two and a third trillion dollars right there in market cap for NVIDIA. All right, so that, that's going to be a market mover right there. Wednesday, that's probably going to be a bigger main event than the FOMC minutes. Thursday, uh, Intuit's $185 billion. Uh, Medtronic, 114 billion. Uh, Toronto Dominion Bank, 101 billion, right there. That's Thursday, okay? Uh, I would say that this, this is probably going to steal the show uh, as far as the economic calendar goes. Is Nvidia. They could possibly steal the show uh, with 200 and, oh, excuse me, two and a third trillion dollars. Like I said, Thursday into it's going to report. Um, Autodesk, NetEase, Workday, all familiar names. Dollar Tree, they're in, they were in trouble earlier, closing some stores. All right, all uh, all familiar names, but nothing really market moving, except maybe uh, into it, maybe a little bit, not much. All right, Coca Cola Pacific's going to report. Uh, that's uh, thirty four billion dollars there. And that's it right there for Monday. What do we got Monday? Nothing really. It's just some familiar names, but nothing really uh, market moving there. Friday, we'll re revisit that. Again, just some familiar names, but nothing really uh, market moving. You can see big lots. Um, Booz Allen Hamilton, Coca-Cola, Bridgeford Foods. Uh, again, all familiar names, but nothing that's really going to move the markets. Not like NVIDIA, all right, on Wednesday evening. All right, so there's, there's the earnings calendar. Let's take a look at Max Payne for today is 528. Uh, it's pretty close to my pivot, 528.16. All right, put the call ratio, one and a third puts to every call. All right, and where's the U.S. dollar? So the U.S. dollar closed here on Friday, 
right there about 104.50 so US dollar getting bullish right now in the pre-market you can see it's kind of rising up there uh, if it goes down that would that would that would help uh, that would help juice the rally uh, the fact that it's going up is not going to help uh, the pre-market rally at all so there we are with the US dollar all right traders I'll take questions in the room all right and uh, everybody out there in digital land I'll see you about four o'clock all right good morning Marley and uh, if there's no questions I'll go ahead and render my video and get it out there and get it posted <laughs>